So I'm going to take you all on a little journey. This is Zenon. And I'm calling myself the alchemist because basically I'm going to do a series of videos and publish them on the internet as of today on our new internet site, which you're probably consulting and seeing outside of time and space. This is my process. Today we're in chaos, so it's a good place to begin because I, um, I made the commitment to um, bring a light table in, which is there. I had to kind of recalibrate the whole place to fitting in this quite large table. And why I'm sharing this at the beginning is because most of you in the past know me as, as a master stained glass artist. And I say master just because I, I've earned that title. And that has been what I did for 25 years in America, very successfully. And that is what I'm now putting back together. So I'm going to, on this light table, produce a ring cycle. Because my alchemy now is in language, not in just light and glass. I've been developing this language forever. Most people do not know. But for 13 months, I've been in this mystery, which has taken me indeed down the rabbit hole in England, coming in with three suitcases and nothing. I came with three suitcases and $1,000 in my pocket. And even that was a gift, thanks to Gwendolyn in Santa Cruz. So these are the maps and the alchemical templates, but this is the literary body of work why nobody's talked to me and my only interface has been Facebook, thank goodness for social media. I produced manuscript upon manuscript, book upon book of divinely inspired writings concerning the myth of the Grail. And it's so vast a work it made me dizzy. It's just like from language scrolls to designs to parchment scripts endlessly, sometimes four or six hours a day, sometimes 12 hours a day, I've been writing a language. And it's been an enigma. Well, how am I going to publish this work? It's ongoing work. So I've been basically in retreat while I've been learning about sublimation. That's the process of alchemy. And there you see in the background, this is a picture of the Saint Germain and Saint Germain, seventh grade master, adept, soul. This is a seventh grade master known from the brotherhood as the Comte de Saint Germain. That's probably a precipitated photo. It's probably one of the most authentic photos there is. This has been my heritage. It's what you see in the first video in the, when we did the production. I mentioned the school. This school is called the Master of the Seven Rays. And Saint Germain is a seventh ray master. And he is the master alchemist. The one that's working through the Merlin. Reputedly, he was conceivably the Merlin figure. Now, the Merlin must be understood as an archetype, as an archetypal cloak. So this is my alchemical den, and today it's in chaos, so it's perfect that you'll see chaos. But I've been conceiving, finally, how can it be practical? How can I bring all this into a living practicality so that people can visit me in my home, seeing I'm 24-7 trying to create a model that's practical. So I'm going to call it, of course, I'm going to call it the Philosopher's Stone, but for sure it's called the Totnes Stone because I'm in Totnes, Devon. Artiste, because I am indeed an artist and I'm an alchemist, and we're going to put alchemist right by there because alchemy is the language 
of transmutation. And that's what that means, alchemy. And I'm going to start doing these things. I just spent one hour on my Zoom recording the mystery. So about one hour templates. And for YouTube, I'm going to divide my hour into 10 minute sections because that's what's publishable. I'm going to give this information to you. All of my study, I'm going to give it you as a download. And you won't comprehend, be able to comprehend it with the mind. It's not really important that you comprehend it with the mind. It's mainly that you enter the stream of its heart intelligence. It's a mapping. It's a navigation system to interior knowledge. It's everything that I've ever learned and I'm still learning. And today I'm beginning. I've been working with this for so much. It's driven me crazy. I've written scripts and prosaic song lines with the scrolls in a prosaic language that is ultimately going to be a bardic language of singing. And it's all about an emerald book. And these are the golden scripts of life. And this is about a new lifestyle. We're going to open to begin. And this is the beginning of a record. And every day I'm making the testimony. I'm going to dialogue with you, the world, from my little alchemical cell, my little place, home on the range, in my little dragon's den, where I'm beginning again. All of this just to begin. I spent all of my life to begin today. I don't know why, because the, the power is synthesized in the moment. So today we're producing the hourglass of time. These are our, this is what I've been shown. One hour. In one hour, I can testify how the language of alchemy works. Not from a bunch of test tubes, for God's sake. Not from the past as a living testimony, how transmutation occurs as a process. And I'm going to give you keys and codes. This is all from Merlin the Seer. I'm going to take you on a journey down the rabbit hole. And that rabbit hole is to do with the emerald dragon of this land which is indeed the healing field. It's to do with an Avalon mystery and a future musical. Because you can sing the mystery ultimately, because we are the mystery. There's song lines. I've been writing this, nobody knows I've written all this. I've done it by hand, it's a book. And it's called the Book of Life. And it's the book of life beyond mortal strife, or perhaps even a wife. It's a revelation because it came out of a field of revelation. It came out of researching emptiness into creation, into this field. I went completely insane. I went beyond the veil to where the field of unity is rolling out in light and sound. And this language was taught to me from the inside out. That's why my alchemical testimony is about the language of light and sound. And the rings, it's a ring cycle. And it begins with three rings, the grail, the sword and the stone. And I'm going to call it the Philosopher's Stone because this is my home. This is where I begin in my testimony, in a story. The alchemist Zenon, living in the stone in Devon, like some call, say it's called heaven, in England, the south of England. And you can visit me here. And I'm not really available socially because I'm so preoccupied with understanding 
this beauteous field that I've spent 24-7 for 13 months. Hello? Hello?